And we were invited last year to come to PEI for the festival and just had an amazing time, amazing time. I was so impressed with the island itself, this, this garden sanctuary surrounded by ocean and, and the mentality of the chefs and the execution of the chefs was, was really quite extraordinary. We're, I'm doing the International Seafood Festival with, with Michael Smith. I'm doing a dish based on lobster, uh, so we're sort of still hashing the menu out. Want it to be exciting, want it to be representative of what we are and what we do. Uh, and something from one of the books that we've published in the last two years. I'm doing Appalicious, so I guess I'm hosting that event. Uh, I want to get my hands dirty in the kitchen, so I'm bringing Andrew Ellerby with me. He's my, my number one guy in the company. Uh, he's going to help me in the kitchen and, and just make sure that we're very active and as well as be on the floor to meet the guests and talk to people. Uh, in between those two days, I'm going to be touring the, the island and going to all the local farmers to, to see the people that are actually selling me the beef that we sell in the store, the PEI Blue Dot program, which has gone so well for us. Uh, last night at the Toronto Taste event, I had three people come up to me, tell me how much they love our PEI beef. Two of them are restaurateurs, so that, that says an awful lot. Prince Edward Island has so many interesting products coming off of it, I had no idea how good the beef was. And now we're, we're looking into the lamb aspect of things, that we can sort of push that product and that storyline. So I think the potentials are endless.